Alright guys, what's up? Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I thought I'd give a little update on the truck. Um, I've done a lot of things to it, mostly mechanical stuff. Um, I think the only thing cosmetically I've done is uh, tires probably. So, let's just have a look. Alright, so first thing you're going to notice is tires. I went with the, uh, the Nitto, the new G2s. I believe they, uh, they changed the compound. Um, honestly, it's not really what I wanted. I actually ended up having a bubble in my front tire, so it's kind of an emergency thing. And unfortunately, in this town, no one seems to have an actual mud terrain tire, so that's what I went with. Um, I've also replaced the shocks. Uh, I went with Bilstein's. I don't think they're 5100. So I mean, they're, they're the 5100 series. But I think they're like a 5125. inside i've done actually kind of a decent amount of stuff it's pretty dirty in here right now but i have all new door speakers all new jbl door speakers which it desperately desperately needed i have a new head unit it is a pioneer i forget exactly which one it is i'd have to look and see now um I really like it. It's really nice. It's gonna lift a lot of different features. You know, it's just in an old pickup like this, it's nice having a new stereo. Um, one thing that surprised me so f that caught me off guard, besides the tires, of course, was wheel bearings. I ended up replacing both front wheel bearings. And one of them went bad. I mean, you can see. I mean, this wheel bearing's two weeks old, and you look at the rust already forming on the outside. So I'm gonna have to take these off, and. Um, paint them I guess uh, after the tire shop got done with my tires I was missing center caps on my wheels so I took them off I don't, I don't think it looks bad I might actually paint those um, the front ones never had them anyways because I have lock-in hubs I don't have the automatic hubs I'm trying to think I've done quite a few small fixes I actually undid the crankcase vent mod I just couldn't stand the smell and it was driving me crazy so I pipe piped the crankcase vent mod back where it's supposed to be um i fixed so many leaks i don't even know i fixed fuel leaks two fuel leaks i think and i'm still hunting down a small oil leak in here but it's really not too bad i've had the truck about three or four months now and it runs awesome best vehicle i've ever purchased it's a 7.3 though so you see it's filthy right now i'd eventually like to get rid of all those gauges and get a nice digital display um gauges just aren't working for me i have a lot of mods i'm gonna do small things for now the tires are a pretty big hit on me so the only thing that's bothering me about the truck is the hids the hids are wired in completely crazy they don't whoever did it wired them in wrong to the switch like you guys saw in my last video um i gotta undo that and to do that i just gotta order a t like a little adapter to run the h13 bulbs because these are the 60 headlights i really believe that the Harley davidson edition uh headlights and you can just see the wiring here how i mean look at this nonsense it's everywhere that and I also have a, a clunk that comes from my rear end. I believe it's from my sway bar. Um, I haven't tracked it down completely yet. I haven't really taken the time. I thought it was shocks at first, but it turns out it wasn't. I tightened those down and everything. Other than that, um, like I said, the truck's been great. Still runs great. I'm going to do a lot more mod videos, a lot more things coming up still need the mirrors mirrors are still terrible um i think i'm gonna go with the 2010 mirrors i am gonna color match this bumper here this part of the bumper and i'm actually gonna replace well this part of the bumper here and i'm actually gonna replace this part with a chrome bumper i believe that's what i'm leaning towards now Still loud as ever. 